Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the concept of multiplexer. Multiplexer is nothing but a digital circuit, you can say that is mainly used to convert a parallel data into serial data. A digital circuit, it is a digital circuit used to convert the parallel data into serial data. Used to convert a parallel data into serial data. That means it is having it is having n data lines n data lines as input n number of data lines as input and and only one output only one output or more precisely we can say 2 power n 2 power n data lines if you want to say accurately for a multiplexer it will be having 2 power n data inputs and one output so the size of a multiplexer is defined as 2 power n by 1 so for 2 power n number of inputs for a multiplexer it will be having only one output it will be having only one output so these are number of inputs and these are number of outputs okay then what do you mean by n what do you mean by n n specifies the number of selection lines n here indicates indicates the number of selection lines number of selection lines let us see what do you mean by selection lines and how it will work see for a multiplexer as it is a digital circuit size is 2 power n by 1 and it is having 2 power n by 1 number of input lines and only one output only one output and selection lines are placed here these are the selection lines how many selection lines n selection lines n selection lines the purpose of selection line is to select a particular line out of 2 power n number of inputs the purpose of selection line is to choose a single <coughs> data input out of 2 power n number of data lines data input lines hope you understand ok so n selection line suppose I want to send 10th data I want to send 10th data to the output out of these 2 power n number of input lines I want to send 10th data means that 10 should be given in this selection lines so selection line should be made equal to 10 then the 10th line data will be going to the output send output then output y is equal to whatever the data that the line 10 carries whether it is 1 or 0 so digital circuit means only 1 or 0 output will be that one okay so selection lines will choose a particular value out of 2 power n number of input lines okay so the relation between the relation between selection line and this particular input lines are related with this formula to uh, log to n log to n n is equal to number of inputs here capital n is equal to number of inputs number of inputs that means 2 power n selection line is equal to n 2 power n this is equal to 2 power small n so if you substitute here 2 power n n will be the number of selection lines so number of selection lines we can define it as log n base 2 where n is the capital n represents the number of input lines suppose for example for example 
take small n is equal to 2. So, how many selection lines are there? Two selection lines are there. So, two selection lines and how many inputs are there? 2 power 2. So, 2 power 2 is equal to 4 input lines. 4 input lines. So, as per the given assumption, we are having 4 input lines and 2 selection lines. The selection lines are indicated by S1, S0 and the input lines are indicated by I0, I1, I2, I3. So, these are the location numbers 0, 1, 2, 3 and only one output Y. Okay. This particular multiplexer with, with 4 inputs, one output is known as 4 by 1 MUX. 4 by 1 max, 4 by 1, 4 indicates the number of inputs and 1 indicates the output. 4 means we can write it as 2 power 2, always the number of inputs for a multiplexer is in the order of 2 powers, do not forget that. Okay, So, that is why we can write it as 2 power 2 by 1, so 2 represents the number of selection lines. So, 2 power 2 means 2 selection lines and 4 inputs. Okay, So, these are, this is an example. And how we can write this, suppose if you want to see the operation of this one, S1, S0 and this is output. Okay. Out of these four input lines, suppose if the selection lines are 0, 0. So, when selection lines are 0, 0 means 0 will be the selected input line. So, when 0 is selected, what is the data? On that 0, I0. So, whatever the I0 carries, whether it is... 0 or 1. So, that will be the output and 0 1. 0 1 means 0 1 means what is the binary equivalent? 1. So, 1. So, first line will be selected and the data on that line is I 1. So, I 1 will be going out and similarly 1 0 means I 2 and 1 1 means I 3. So, this is what this is what the selection line two table multiplexer two table for a four by one multiplexer four by one multiplexer okay and now let us see this is an example let us see types of multiplexers based on the sizes types of multiplexers so there are several multiplexers two by one multiplexer depends on the selection size 4 by 1 multiplexer, 4 by 1 multiplexer, you can write it as 2 cross 1 or 2 east to 1, both are accepted and 3 8 by 1 multiplexer and so on as the 2 power n by 1 max n varies, n varies, n varies from 0, uh, sorry 1, 2, 3 and so on, n varies from 1. If it is 1, n is equal to 1, 2 by 1 multiplexer. If it is 2, n, n equal to 2 means 4 by 1 multiplexer. Like that, we will be having so many types of multiplexers. Okay. Let us see 2 by 1 multiplexer. So, 2 by 1 multiplexer means what is the size of n? What is the value of n? Where? 2 by 1, we can write it as 2 power 1, means n is equal to 1. n equal to 1 means how many selection lines? Selection lines are? Selection lines are 1. Selection line is only 1. So, 2 inputs, 2 inputs i0, i1, 2 inputs i0, i1 and the size is 2 by 1. This is 0th location, first location, only one selection line S is sufficient, no need to take whether it is S0, S1. And along with that, we also have some enable pin, enable pin, okay. Now, let us see the truth table of this one, truth table, enable, yes and Y. If enable pin is equal to 0, enable means enable works on total, total circuit. 
enable works on total digital circuit digital ic suppose if this ic if this multiplexer is available in ic the entire ic is off when enable is equal to 0 suppose if it is active high enable the if it is active high enable then if the input is uh, 0 for enable pin there is no operation performed if it is active low enable pin it works with 0 and will not work with 1 okay depends on the type of the enable pin whether it is active low or active high okay now if whatever may be the selection line output is not there so output is equal to 0 now the chip is enabled and if the selection line is 0 output is i0 and chip is enabled if the selection line is 1 output is i1 so in this way the multiplexer is designed for a 2 by 1 multiplexer and it is the truth table now now based on this we will see how to draw the equivalent logic diagram equivalent logic diagram okay <coughs> see this is the selection line which can be considered as 0 and 1 and this is the enable pin now i0 is coming from and gate i0 i0 when it is coming when s naught is when s is equal to 0 and as well as enable pin should be 1 when s is equal to 0 and enable pin should be 1 this is i naught and similarly when i1 will come i1 comes when enable pin and as well as s is equal to 1 so true form we have to connect it i1 and this is i1 and these two are connected to or gate so to select either of these two output so this is the output y output y so output y is equal to we can write the expression as output y is equal to i naught s bar enable plus i1 s enable so that is equal to i naught s bar plus i1 s into enable pin y this is the expression for a 2 by 1 multiplexer expression for the 2 by 1 multiplexer where enable pin is equal to 1 then only this operation will work see by substituting the value also you can understand if I, when enable pin is equal to 1 then output is equal to depending on these values but when enable is equal to 0 completely the output is 0 okay so in the next video i will explain about the data flow vhdl program for the multiplexer